Bianca, thank you. We begin with breaking news and more fallout out of Texas, where there are reports of explosions at a chemical plant near Houston. It's been compromised as a result of flooding from Hurricane Harvey. The rain in Texas is finally subsiding, but for some residents furthest east, the situation remains very dangerous. Meantime, President Trump continues to monitor the situation in Texas. Yesterday, the president spoke with Texas Governor Greg Abbott while traveling back to Washington from Missouri. A dire warning has been issued to residents on the Texas-Louisiana border that if they don't evacuate, loss of life will be certain. This comes along with the breaking news we just mentioned, the reports of an explosion at a flooded chemical plant in a small town northeast of Houston. CBS4's Don Champion is in Houston this morning with the latest developments. There are reports of two explosions at a chemical plant in Crosby, Texas. This is a picture captured by a local resident. John Villarreal used to work at the plant. He spoke with CBS affiliate KHOU. We could hear some pops and then we could see the flames in the smokes uh, from, from the distance. After the explosions, the Harris County Sheriff's Office tweeted in part, one deputy taken to hospital after inhaling fumes. Nine others drove themselves to hospital as precaution. Authorities in the area had set up a mile and a half evacuation zone around the facility on Wednesday because officials at the Arkema plant predicted this would happen. Flooding knocked out refrigeration units and backup generators inside that cooled organic peroxides. Once warm, those chemicals got volatile and ignited. The chemical plant danger is just one of many. In southeast Texas, elderly residents were evacuated to safety overnight. Less than 12 hours before, they had to be rescued from several different nursing homes in the Beaumont area. Harvey caused widespread flooding as it made a final landfall as a tropical storm Wednesday. Volunteers are still searching for people who are stranded in their homes. We got about 10 people out. It's real bad. I don't know what's going to happen. To the north in Tyler County, floodgates were opened yesterday, leading to this ominous evacuation warning from emergency management officials on Facebook, telling residents if they don't evacuate, the loss of life and property is certain. Across the area devastated by Harvey, officials fear the death toll could climb as floodwaters recede, revealing the true scope of this catastrophic storm. Don Champion, CBS News, Houston. And again, the breaking news we're following at this hour and two, at least two explosions at a uh, chemical plant just outside of Houston. Br officials had been bracing for that after power uh, was knocked out to generators at that facility that cooled volatile chemicals. Uh, one deputy taken to the hospital after inhaling fumes. Uh, Lauren and Vanessa were also told that nine people drove themselves to the hospital uh, as a precaution. And we're expected to get an update on the situation there in a press conference in about two hours or so.